how will he just keep on blessing me? Yeah. Cooking in the scriptures, ties a dot, got the recipe. Uh. Manifest destiny, Satan keep testing me. He just trying to cut our seed off, that's a vasectomy. No, that can't happen, we the sand of the sea. Yeah. Salt of the earth, I stop and put the car in reverse. No star on my shirt, pomegranate. I'm gonna have to take the cannon out the Bronco, throwing bombs like Peyton Manning. Quarterback, but I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. Guess the baby brother, but I still a sneaker simian. No, I'm not Dominican. Better get your mind right. But yum yum to bring them wolves out like Twilight. And Dark low, that's my eye. He be gunning past him. He played with the heat longer than you done his Haslam. Now he on a righteous path. Yeah, I'm out of way. Hey, hey, how you doing, bro? You heard what I was telling you over there? You the chosen of God, man. You gotta right. get right out here, alright? Give me that. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 8. Uh -huh. And one only, it's like a, and one only path Go ahead. between them both. Read on. Even between. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? How you doing, bro? Hey, you good, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you up to? What's your ethnicity, bro? Oh, okay, what's your pop to this? He black. black. Alright, so more than likely you will come from the tribe of Judah, man. That's the same tribe Christ came from. A so-called dark skinned man with woolly hair. You know that? Yeah, so that's a lie right there. Step on that guy. That ain't him. That's the op right there. Yeah, that's the ops, alright? But look, let me show you. The Lord chose you. Give me um give me first Peter 2 and 9. Let me show you what the most high God think of you, bro. Cause you from a chosen. Give me Daniel 12 and 3. Just the book of 1st Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. Go ahead. But ye are a chosen generation. What? Ye are a chosen generation. So you a chosen generation. When you look into other translations and say, you a chosen race. All right, because the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Central Indians, we the chosen race. All right, the Lord picked right. us out of everybody else. Right. That's why we invented everything. You know what I'm saying? We the best at everything. That's we right. We the That's chosen right. God. Keep going. A royal priesthood. Royal, okay. And holy nation. What? And holy nation. Holy. When you go into the word holy, it means separate. So we separate from everybody else out here. Teach us. They trying to oppress us and keep us at the bottom. Because they know, hey, I'm the chosen. If they ever come together, you know what I'm saying? They going to they gonna cause havoc around here. All right, so the only way we're going to come together in the right way is by coming to the Heavenly Father. The Lord God of Israel. He only for the Israelites. All right, because people lie in church and say, Christ die for everybody. But when you look in the Bible, you only die for the Israelites. Give me Matthew 15 to 24. I ain't gonna hold you something. A peculiar people. Peculiar people, go ahead. That ye should shoot forth the praises of him who have called you out of the darkness. That's not a word. Out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Into his marvelous light. So we gotta go into that marvelous light. Alright, because we, we are here shining right now. Alright, through the spirit of the Lord, because the scriptures say, oh, man's wisdom maketh his face to shine. All right, so that's what you gotta be doing. You gotta be out here shining. We the nucleus. Everybody look at us like, man, what they doing? Cause we shining through the spirit of the Lord. Give me Isaiah 61. Let me show you some more. The book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Go ahead. But he answered and said. Christ answered and said, the so-called black man. He was on earth today. He'll look dark skinned, woolly hair. What you would call a nigga today. All right, keep going. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now nah, for everybody. To the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He died for the Israelites. So them lies they've been perpetuating throughout the church, like through Christianity, 500, thousands of years almost right now. So now we coming into the truth that so-called blacks and Latinos, we the chosen of God. Watch. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 from the top. The spirit of the Lord. Watch this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 60 from the top. Arise. Arise. He's telling you to arise. What's your name? Bobby. Bobby, arise. That's the same thing we did. Arise. Get up. Go ahead. Shine, for thy light is come. And what? For thy light is come. It says, shine, for thy light is come. This is the light. This is the spirit the Lord got us in. We shining out here. All right, everybody else just doing what they want to do. But we out here spit knowledge right now, spit facts in this land full of falsehoods. Go ahead. Son. Come and the glory of the Lord is risen up in thee. Uh -huh. The glory of the Lord risen upon us. The Israelites, because the, the Israelites they belong to glory and the covenants and the law, statutes, and commandments. So nobody can't get it. They got to come through us to get it. You know what I'm saying? For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. It's darkness covering the earth right now. So in the midst of all that darkness, you got to be shining with the spirit and the knowledge of the heavenly Father, man. Keep going. And gross darkness, the people. Yeah, a lot of our people in the 
in a dead state. So through the, through the spirit of the Lord, this is how you get life, bro. Bobby, this is the only way we gonna get life, man. That's why the scriptures say, keep my commandments and live. Right. We wanna live out here. We tired of we tired of our partners being killed. We're going through all the type of madness. When you come back to the Lord, you still can live your life, but we gonna keep the commandments. Move with discernment throughout our whole life. You know what I'm saying? Watch this, bro. In the book of Daniel, chapter 12 and verse 3. Go ahead. And they that be wise. They that be wise. Don't you want to be a wise man? Go ahead. Shall shine. Shall what? Shall shine. Shall shine. This is going to be the true sun. Go ahead. As the brightness of the firmament. Uh huh. As the brightness of the firmament. So we're going to be shining like when you see the sun out. All right, keep going. And they that turn many to righteousness. They that turn many to righteousness. So through the spirit of the Lord, we're trying to turn you into righteousness and pull you out of that fire that you're in right now and to come back to the community of God. Sometimes we got to pull our people out of that fire and rescue them. If it's been for them, but some of our people, they want to continue to get burnt up. So, hey, you can't do it for everybody. Go ahead. And they that turn many to righteousness. They that turn many to righteousness, go ahead. As the stars. As the stars, we know. Forever and ever. No, nah, just a little bit. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. So after even after this, after this world pass, we're gonna be shining in the next world, Lord women. Because we're gonna be in dominion. So-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Indians, we ain't gonna be at the bottom no more. These other nations that did that to us, raped and robbed us, took out everything we got, put us in the ghettos and all that, told us we spit. Niggas, they going into slavery. You know what the Bible said it? Let me show you this. Hold on, before you go. All right, give me to Jeremiah. Oh. All right, keep not go to. All right, keep going. All right, but, uh, but y'all got a verse ten. Many shall be purified and made white. So many shall be purified and made white. White meaning like a, a holiness to it, not white like so-called Caucasian white like as holiness. Go ahead. And try. And try. But the wicked shall do wicked. But the wicked shall do wicked. So a lot of our people, they, and all these other nations, they gonna keep doing wicked. Only the people of the Lord that the Lord gonna deliver gonna stop and be like, man, I do need to change what I'm doing to get my mind right. I am from a chosen people of God. I need to start keeping the commandments, so only righteous gonna do that. And none of the wicked, and none of the what, and none of the wicked, none of the wicked go ahead. shall understand. So none of the wicked go understand, because the scripture said, wisdom cannot enter into a malicious soul. So if you got a malicious soul and don't want to get right, you ain't gonna get no wisdom. But you want wisdom. That's the only reason you stop. You like, hold on, let me, let me check out, see what you talking about. Read me that. Let me show you how we wore gold in our mouth back in the day. This is the book of Sons of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 10. Thy cheeks are comely. Thy cheeks are comely, God. With rows of jewels. Rows of jewels. Alright, so we had we had grills in the ancient days. Right. You come from these people, bro. That's why you do that now. That's right. Because you an Israelite, man. Alright? Oh, yeah, I try, I, I, they're gonna fly right there for you, bro. Where you from? Are you from? Okay, oh, from Tucson. Okay, you by the Arizona Wild. You of eight. That's my favorite little college team, and I always want to go to a game, man. I gotta come out there. Watch this, bro. I'm gonna show you all of other nations that put us in slavery. They going into slavery. Jeremiah 36. Watch this according to the Bible. So it ain't like we gonna get in rulership and then they just gonna get get away with they what they did. Nah, the tables gonna turn. You know what I'm saying? That's only just. The Lord just. Give me that. The book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Go ahead. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All they that devour thee shall be devoured. They devoured us. They came over here and took the indigenous Indians land, <laughs> raped our women, brung us over from the west coast of Africa, did all type of madness, raped the men too. They damn homosexuals, man. Keep going. It says, and all thine adversaries, all thine adversaries, we don't. Every one of them, every one of them. Now, I ain't, oh, Sally, she's pretty cool, man. She let me come over and play tennis on the Xbox on her Wii. No, every one of them, go ahead. Shall go, shall what? Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. So they going into captivity, bro. That's said the heavenly Father, man. I right, the Lord God of Israel. I right, so the God of this Bible, bro, he coming back with vengeance and retribution to the ungodly. So you want to get off the side of the ungodly and come to the side of the righteous. Man. But by the it take one day at a time, keeping the commandments and coming back to your heritage. Just one of the commandments right here. We got fringes on. That set the Israelites apart from all these other nations. Because they ain't right. Just like when people see us that way, they're like, damn, what that is? They know, they like, oh, okay, them dudes keeping the commandments. They back to their heritage. They ain't just no regular niggas, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta come back and get this wisdom of the Lord and get right, bro. Strive for the truth unto death. 
Yeah. All right, you live out here now? No, I don't know. Okay, we got some brothers at AZ and Tim Bay. They be out there. I'm going to have to give you the... What we got? Sakari Phoenix. I gave you a flyer, so instead of Sakari DTX, so Sakari, put Sakari Phoenix. Them brothers going to pop up. They ain't trying to go look up for them one day. They teaching the same thing we teaching. See where they at? And come and get this knowledge, man. All right? Because if you ain't got this, you ain't got nothing. Watch this. Give me a please ask this 423. It's made 428. You got to get this truth, man. All right? The Lord says sanctify thee with this truth. All right? Watch this, man. Chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death. Strive for the truth unto death. That's what the Bible say do. We got to strive for this unto death. What else is the hell to do? Niggas dying over $5 at the damn dice game. Might as well die for something that's worth it. Keep going. And the Lord shall fight for thee. Shall what? And the Lord shall fight for thee. And the Lord shall fight for thee. So if you striving for the truth, the Lord going to be on your side. All right, but if you do what you want to do, the Lord, he going to make sure you get it. He gonna, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people think, man, I've been doing this for years. Ain't nothing happened to me yet. Watch this. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because a lot of people think the Lord like a man. The Lord different from us. He'll let you keep building your tab up. All right? So just because you've been wicked, you've been wicked for 30 years of your life, and you're like, oh, shit, I'm good. Ain't nothing going to happen. Watch this. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 8, verse 11. Because a sentence against an evil work. Because a sentence against an evil work. Go ahead. It's not executed as speedily. Say it one more time. Executed. It's like a, it's not executed speedily. Just because it ain't executed speedily, like you do some wicked and the Lord ain't put you to death right then. People think, oh, well, God must don't exist. I'm good. He ain't did nothing yet. Watch this. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men. The heart of the sons of men. Go ahead. It's fully set in them to do evil. To do evil. Just like these crowds. Oh, they think they got away from putting us in slavery, gunning us down in the street. Oh, the Lord just let them build a table. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna get then he gonna come and do a damn high you can right on. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Right, verse 12. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, just living the life of iniquity, go ahead. And his days be prolonged. And his days be prolonged. He think, go ahead. Yet surely I know that I shall be well with them that fear God. So he's going to be well with them that fear God. The ones that's actually doing what they're supposed to do. Keep going. Which fear before him, but it shall not be well. But it shall not be well, Bobby. With the wicked. With the what? With the wicked. It ain't going to be well with the wicked. Even though they days being prolonged. Give me Second Peter 2 and 9. Though they days being prolonged, they think shit, I'm still chilling shit. I've been, I've been, been a wicked nigga shit for about 30, 35 years. Ain't nothing happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they don't make it. Ain't happen. Yeah, I'm good. As soon as that day you think it's cool, you chilling, you just got a hundred thousand dollars in some of your bank account, the Lord gonna put your ass to death. He'll do it when the day he gonna do it when you least expect it. He gonna do it right when you Oh kill me, girl, kill me. No, he gonna do it when you chilling. You just wanna try to change your life, man. I just got a hundred thousand dollars, man. I'm just gonna chill, you got my girl, you got my kids, boom, then you gonna get that judgment. The book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse nine. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of the temptation. The Lord know how to deliver the godly out of temptation. So if you're a man that's fighting for righteousness and you and something happens, you get a little temptation to do something wicked. The Lord know how to deliver you from that, but you won't fall into it. Keep going. And to reserve the unjust. And to what? And to reserve the unjust. He reserving the unjust. They thinking they, they thinking they cool. They getting away with it, but he's just reserving the ass. Keep going. Unto the day of judgment. The day of what? The day of judgment to be punished. To be what? To be punished. Yeah. Be punished. So he reserving them for the special day. Ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna do. He probably just, he just thinking. Oh, damn, damn, what should I do? Should he? Should he fly the window on the, um, <laughs> on the highway? Should he get gunned down at the club? You know niggas love to go to the club. Which one? All right, the Lord got You know what I'm saying? That's like, the scripture said you shall meditate terror. And that's why we meditate terror on these other nations that did this to us, man. These so-called blacks and Latinos, Native and Central Indians. We meditate terror, man. All right, that's the mind state you got to get in. Know you Israelite. Get back right with the Heavenly Father and repent, man. Give me all of that. I'm going to end this off with you. I'm gonna hold you too long. Give me a uh, give me Matthew two. Matthew three. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
What's your chance to say hated for what? Hated individual. Oh, hated individual. And you know the most I hate these crackers? Watch this, Romans 9 and 13. He oh. hate their whole project. Not just one or two of them. He hate everybody that come. They come from a man named Esau in the Bible. Had they ever taught you God hate ever in your life? You ain't never heard that. You thought God loved everybody. Watch this. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written. As it is written, go ahead. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have he loved. That's the Israelites. The 12 tribes of Israel. We came from a man named Jacob. So he loved us, go ahead. But Esau have I hated. But what? But Esau have I hated. But what? But Esau have I hated. So he hate them. Right in the Bible, bro. Ain't the past ain't never tell us that before we read it for ourselves. But Esau have he hated. That's the percentage of these damn monkeys right here, man. Right. They're going into slavery, bro. That's how we right. talk to them. All the stuff they did to our forefathers and what they doing now. Hell out of here, man. We sliding on the eyes. Watch this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shah began to preach. And to say, repent. Do what? Repent. You gotta repent. You gotta find out what we're doing wrong according to this Bible. And repent. It's certain, law, it's certain stuff we can't eat. We can't be eating pork. No pork, no shrimp, no crab, no lobster. You can't be eating nothing but blood. In it. That's not here. Just let these, these other nations, these damn cowboys right here, alright? They can eat, they eat, they get a damn rock. Yeah, yeah, they, you know, they, they, they grab a damn piece of raw meat, drink blood, and squeeze the blood in their mouth. That's the type of stuff they like. All right, with a damn little boy watching him and got him handcuffed in the basement. <laughs> so that's the stuff they like to do. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. God. Like the scriptures say, the kingdom of heaven is inside you. But you got you to gotta get that glory by coming back to the heavenly father. That's the only way it's going to go to his highest aptitude. All right, Bobby. So I right, repent. All right, bet, bro. No, you're an Israelite, man. All right. All right, man, keep your beard going. Don't shave it down. Don't shave it all off. You can trim it, but keep your beard. That's part of our heritage. All right, bet, bro. Nice to meet you.